Hi there and welcome back to my channel, my name is Dagny. As you can see, we aren't in a studio anymore. We have to wait until phase 4 of reopening due to COVID, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss an updated version of this video. Today we are following the previous walking forward video with a walking backwards video. Followers are typically walking backwards. This is not natural, but with practice we can make it look more elegant and refined. Just like with walking forward, we want a seamless transition in between each step. To achieve this, we need to pay attention to small details that allow us to move without seeming like we are bobbing up and down. First, I will go over how I take the steps back, and then I'll break it down much further with a slowed down version of the breakdown. In order to take the step back, I bend my standing leg as I extend the free leg straight back. Grounding into the floor, I push off of my front leg to take the desired step. The front leg is now fully extended. I have accepted all of my weight into the back leg as I bring my front leg in. Don't forget that you determine the length of the step with the bend of the standing knee, and we don't want to roll the leg in or out. Let's break this down again. I bend the standing leg and simultaneously extend the back leg. I keep the extension as I glide over the floor, accept the weight into my back leg, extend my front leg, and then bring my foot into the collection. Once again slower, I stabilize by sending my energy up as I ground my leg down. I extend the back leg straight. Once I can't extend any further, I push off of my front foot so that my back foot glides over the floor. There is an equal and opposite extension of the front leg. Then the toes glide in and to the collection. Now you're ready to take the next step. I try to be mindful about my height and maintain a consistent bend in my knee according to the height proposed by the leader to take the steps. Walking backwards in heels is quite tricky to master. You can see in my videos that even I still wobble. That's okay. The more you practice, the more you build up the muscle control required to stabilize your movements. And now for a back view. Something to note, when I extend the leg in back of me, I make sure that I'm extending exactly in back of me. I don't cross over the center line. However, if we want to get even more specific, personally, I prefer to extend from my hip, going backwards as if I was actually walking. If I am trying to emphasize my walk, I may go the extra inch towards the center line to be on the true center line. All of these factors help us to walk smoothly and elegantly and eliminate a bob. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future posts. See you next time.